The island that we're going to be visiting today is called Kalengaman Island. It is one of the most famous places to visit here in Malapascua. And we're just walking over to our boat right now. Okay, so it looks like those two big ends right there are what we're getting on. I hope everyone hasn't been waiting for us because we're low-key a little late. Woo! Total cost for today, including the island fee, boat fee, and snorkel fee would be 900 plus 500 plus 150. So that is the total amount for today's adventure. We are just, we're all chilling, our whole squad's here. I'll intro you to everyone properly later. If you guys have been following me for a minute, you know I'm addicted to peanut butter for breakfast, so I brought these along again. I swear I need to like make my own peanut butter packets because these ones have a bunch of other crap in it, like cane sugar, peanut oil, palm oil. Anywho peanut butter for breakfast because that's my life and that's how I roll. Um, yes. It is so loud! Stop my <laughs> Welcome to Kalangaman Island. Holy crap, I have never been anywhere like this in my life. This is, wow. Sandbars on both sides of the island that are super super long. It is insanely beautiful. This water is like uh, I just want to play in it all day long <laughs> I feel like I get way too hyped and like way too excited when I come to islands like this But how can I not? This is freaking fire man. The water is perfect. The sand is amazing oh, The Sun is shining and I am a happy happy girl chilling in this beautiful water. I just feel so at home here. This island is actually huge. Like there are quite a few people here and there was a bit of an Instagram lineup when we were taking our uh, shots here. But I have to say the island is so big that there's definitely room for everyone. We're all sort of spread out. There's actually a whole other sandbar on the other side of the island that we haven't even checked out yet. I feel like there's actually so much more to see and do. We've really just been hanging out like at the tip of this sandbar here, but I do want to go explore the rest of the island. I introduced you to Lisa before, Laura's little sister, but we also have a new member joining our little girl gang, <laughs> Emma. Hi, I'm Emma. Lisa. Um, <laughs> this is the full girl gang now. It's me and Laura, Emma, Lisa. And we're killing it out here in the Philippines. If you guys remember that GoPro dome thing I bought, I really want to try it again today because the first time I tried this, I actually didn't even have my camera on the right setting. Go me, professional vlogger. There she is. Let's give her, let's give her a go. I'm like low key really scared right now. I, um, if you've been watching for a while, you know about my like ear situation. I have a ruptured eardrum and it was like really infected before, and the doctor said to not swim. And I just tried to swim because I was excited about my dome. Oh, it hurts so bad right now. And I can like blow water out of it. Oh, Okay guys, I've had like a minute here to get my like emotions in check. That was really, really terrifying. Um, when things like happen, like health things, and you're on a remote island and you're not like near any sort of hospital or medical care, um, I find that it becomes a lot more stressful and a lot scarier than it otherwise would be. I basically, I was just like too stoked and like wanted to swim so bad because it's so freaking nice here. Like this is one of the nicest islands I've ever been to. I go under the water, I'm plugging my ear and like I did that once before but I, like I actually kept it really carefully plugged. Today, I don't know what happened but I like, I was just too excited. I let go and it filled with water and it was like this instant sharp pain that was like shooting but like constant. And like I really thought that I had blown out my entire eardrum which would be a massive nightmare. Medically, that's like a really, really bad thing to do. I like to always try and keep things as positive as possible, but you know what, sometimes when you're traveling, shit happens. And today, because me, myself, and I was a little bit of a dumbass, 
shit happened. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a beer. I feel like it's well earned. Does anyone want some ding dongs? It's like roast garlic and mixed nuts. It's actually really freaking good. Had some lunch, had a little beer. I'm still deaf out of this ear, like really I can't hear anything, it's kind of scary. Um, but I'm feeling much better after getting some food in me and I think my ear is slowly drying and it's also really hot right now. So I think that's helping like the inner ear dry, hopefully. Um, but anyways, we are gonna go explore the other side of the island now. We're walking on this little pathway that's so, so beautiful. How fun would that be i would love to have camped overnight here can you imagine that would be like a pretty awesome setup hey yeah, i wonder like i kind of wish that we did that <laughs> <sighs> laura have you seen anything so crazy it's wild wow i almost feel like this is prettier than where we were before this side of the island is totally abandoned other than these little huts here that you can rent out to camp in. There's a gorgeous, gorgeous sandbar. Having a very ginger moment. Uh, I have had enough sun for the day. Like I can just feel it when I'm done because my skin is just like ridiculously fair. But I'm just sitting up here in this cute little, um, this little tree house and I'm watching my friends. They're all out there like swimming and enjoying the sun. Honestly, story of my life, like since I was a kid, I feel like I'm always like the freaking ginger in the shade who's like, hey guys, <laughs> like be my friend. Laura and I just picked up this massive red horse, like a head for scale. It's huge. <laughs> We're gonna split that on the way home, so. So we have about an hour and a half on this boat back to Malapasqua. It's actually a really easy boat ride and honestly like pretty nice. 12 seconds later. We are the splash zone. Oh, holy crap. Ah! That went from being like fun and like, yay, the waves are coming, oh my God, to like an actual hell. Holy crap, that was like well over three hours in the boat because it took us way longer to get back. We were just being like pummeled by water again and again. I've never been so cold in my entire life and I just like sat there and I was like visualizing like cooking something at home, just like, getting my mind away from where we were. I've never had a boat ride that intense before. That was, whoo, that was something, man. Anyways, we need to just take a chill pill and say goodnight. So thank you so, so much for watching. Today was honestly amazing. That was just like a bit of a wild end to the day. Um, but overall, great day. Highly do recommend you visit that island that we went to. It was so, so nice. But I will see you in the next video. Bit of a crazy day, but still a good one nonetheless. All right, see you in the next video. Bye. You've got the yummy, yummy, oh, right. yummy, yummy. <laughs> yeah, babe, yeah, babe. Oh, the things that don't make the cut. <laughs>